Right, hello everybody, welcome to replay analysis for K Patreon replay analysis for Kiwi Nutsack Attack. Um, he has got the Grizzly Beers, a uh, dwarf team versus some down TV because he's got a he's down a bunch of TV because he's got Zara the Slayer. Look at that trick that I learned from YouTube. Thank you, whoever told me that. And he's got Zara and a wizard, so he's down a bunch of TV. Uh, <laughs> Dingle Licker, <laughs> Aspera, <laughs> Arrakis Foreskin, <laughs> Neckbeard, <laughs> Lightweight, Mongrel Stout Drowner. Drunk and right, but it, good names, good names. Right, so I like I like kind of like the defense here, putting the side steppers out wide, so he gets to cover the sidelines, um, without uh, you know without fear of getting blitzed by a troll slayer. Um, looking at the team, blodge tackles reasonable. What's this? Uh, Fen strip. I'd already like him. I'd probably sack him. I'm a seventh dickhead. <laughs> He's got the jump up on, on this. Yeah, that's jump up. I mean that that's fair because you know it pays off eventually, doesn't it? I don't know what league this is or anything. Um, a pom, big guy. There, loads of mighty blow, and guard. So just a normal team. I like going for the stab as well. Um, I would have blocked on the LOS with the uh, troll slayer. Um, you know, rather than blitzing, because your followers are a bit fucked with him. Boo! Oh, and then what have the Dark Elves got? Some blodge steppers. <laughs> yeah, and see, he didn't get the he didn't get the extra hit there. Whereas if he'd been uh, if that had been him, he would have hit him twice to there, and he would have got the follow up hit as well, which could have been. I mean, this, this guy could have just been there anyway, to be fair, and could have been a mighty poor dude. So, do I not like that? And um, the good thing is, the Witch Elf's over here. Could have put another player up here first, this guy. Could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, could have also blitzed first, before making the pick up in the rain. Um, I would have liked to have seen this guy over here, to be honest. And again, if you'd blocked it there with the uh, troll slayer, you'd have had a guy here to blitz. Could have even not piled, seeing the ball was so close and in a bit of danger in the rain. He's a four plus to pick it up as well in two tackle slots. <laughs> and double ones it. Ah, oh, if only his troll slayer was closer. Um, I mean, you've got. To, You've got to do the surf here, haven't you? Okay, you powered him anyway. Um, again, this could be a non pile on. Um, you know, he's got to stand firm. He's got to tackle. The ball's under severe threat. I really like not piling on there. Um, hitting this side stepper is too dangerous before going for the pickup, I think. Because obviously, if it's a push. Got a tackle zone on the pickup, so I would have gone for the pickup before making that block. I'm quite late not going for the stab. I don't. Oh, okay, the base, but this is a frenzy trap. So I think if you're going to do that blitz, then uh, put in an extra player. But I probably wouldn't have blitzed there, I would have probably blitzed him, maybe with stab. This is very aggressive, but it really hasn't got hardly any ball protection. Uh, again, I'd like somebody over here in case of a failed pickup. Or even a successful one, is he's just he's just not protecting the ball at all. Easy 2D. He'll run around with him and then hit him with wrestle. Again, this guy could have been blitzed but with Zara for 3D, wouldn't it? Hello, Hallas. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, 
Oof. So he does the dodge through tackle zone. And now he's out in the clear. Fails the pick up again. Probably wouldn't re-roll it this time if I was him. I'd have already stood this guy up first and then not re-roll the pick up. Ah, oh, but he does for the he does the punt. I mean that's just me. I would have probably just not re-rolled it. Um But yeah, the punt makes him fucked. So maybe that'll be a mistake by me. To have not done that. Whee! Classic GFI. Probably could have stood some people up first, right? Like these two could have just stood up, probably he could have run around first. Stab could have happened first, for sure. Ah, okay, he's gonna blitz. And he's a sidestepper, so that's okay not moving here. But could have stood the other one up first and done the stab first, of course, if that's what you were gonna do. There's a strong argument for dodging away uh, Sara being movement six, even though there's tackle there, just to get it back. And okay, he's double GFIing there, that's good. But yeah, there'd be a strong argument, I think, for uh, trying to dodge out Zara and stick her on there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's only starting, it's only forcing a one in 36, but it's also getting you back there if you somehow don't lose the ball this turn. <laughs> Like, if you don't lose the game this turn, then at least you've got another player back there, maybe, rather than her just being up here not doing anything. So it wouldn't have been for the, oh, I hope you fail a 1 in 36 dodge. It would have been now she's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. She'd have been back here. And next turn she could have blitzed him. This is looking almost savable now, at least. <laughs> but, yeah, really careless ball protection. Space Cadet School of Ball Protection a bit. <laughs> Glorious. No, I won't give in. Glorious. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. OP Cubby, thank you very much for staying fantastic for nine months. Absolutely glorious, a human, a human pregnancy, or two and a quarter beaver pregnancies. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, I mean, he puts these players on, but it's not really doing a whole lot, is it? Because he's just got a two plus out. Hello, Night Demon. <laughs> Hello, Lemon. Um. So yeah, it's. I I would have rather he could have run around right. He could have he was about here or something. He could have one two three four GFI and he could have gone for a blitz with a stripper. Um, oh, awesome! Thank you very much, Bezel. Bezel, the absolute legend. Thank you very much. Hello, Muppet. Oh. Hello, Frost Lord. An actual card this time on on the tubes with with uh, with Skuro. Um Ah, oh, brilliant! Thank you very much, Basil. So yeah, I mean, he actually came, didn't come out that too badly, I guess, in terms of he still got four turns to equalise. Uh, if I was the Dark Elves, I like to think I would have uh, ended the half 1-0 up. <laughs> but um, the kick's a lot better for him now. So I think he really should have focused on the ball a lot more with, the, with a shallow kick. And now this pylon, I like the pylon a lot better now when he's... Uh, far away. Still probably should have stuck a stand firm dude over there. Um, just in case of a blitz or whatever. Like this stand firm dude is just cast. Probably should be standing over here. To have, you know, he couldn't get. 
or here where the so the stand firm should be stood over here where the witch elf is and then he could have had another dude stood over here in case of like uh, to protect the ball a bit I think he's been a little bit careless with the ball first half The cards are nice. This is a bit careless because uh, I'd really like this layered a bit more because at the moment you can quite easily put pressure in. I don't like this sticking people on here, and I really hate again blitzing with a you know frenzy trap. Um, but this basing up here, I would rather just have them in front. Uh, you know, two guys here and another guy here or something, and then it's really hard for them to run through and get the ball. Like put pressure on the ball. It'd be easy for him to split this dude and put pressure on the ball here. And turn him over for the 2-0. But he's not doing that, I guess. Uh, he's got no re-rolls, which makes it harder. Hello? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Not a screen here, so he's gonna leave it he's gonna leave not a screen somewhere. So he's relying on the I think you've got to just palm this guy, haven't you? And re roll for a pal. Oh he doesn't get it. The, oh he sidesteps the wrong square. Beautiful. I think he should have sidestepped here. Or even here. No, he, no, he had to sidestep here, didn't he? He had to sidestep here. What's this game? Oh, it's a horrible way to torture yourself. Uh, it can barely even call it a game. So he's got over the halfway line at least. Lucky for, well, not lucky for him. I'd say badly by McLean. He's whacked his. Uh, Whacked his witch elf over at this wrong side. Should have had the witch elf in the middle to uh, threaten surfs. You know, dwarves with few turns are going to probably have to go down the sideline. And that's when your witch elf comes into her own, as they say. <laughs> this isn't a I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> The game is Blood Bowl 2 though, right? It's listed under the right thing. I was going to say, if this was Sage's opponent, he'd mark the uh, jump up player. <laughs> and he nearly did. <laughs> and probably realised he had jump up. Um, I, I don't hate the, the fucking handoff to Zara here. Or like a pass to Zara or something there. Uh, it's going to be very hard to just brute force down the sideline here, isn't it? So I definitely would have at least got Zara upfield rather than uh, tagging. Tag could have been made by this guy, uh, who's got tackle as well, and Zara could have just bezed six down, six forward. I think I would have definitely bezed forward six with Zara. Keep the uh, potential handoff play open. This time he gets the power on the sidestepper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's good. <laughs> Hello, little bats. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'll never, I'll never stop with a blood, blood ball. To be fair, see, because now he's he's got he's got Zara tag, but not with tackle, unless he puts the him in as well. In which case, why is Zara even there? Zara could have been on the other side. That uh, feels like a definite mistake to put Zara there. She could have at least been here, making that 3 plus 3 tackle. I wouldn't hit a 1D there, funny enough. He blitzed with him. Maybe next season, Roslaw. Like, I mean, maybe later this season, or maybe next season. I guess he doesn't have the reroll, so I guess you don't want to do a one day and stuff. So I guess this is this makes sense. This is kind of safe-ish, isn't it? Um, 
But this basing is a bit dangerous because he can he can block one blitz the other and win through, can't he? No, oh, he doesn't even need to because they were in contact as well. Oh yeah, of course they were. He needs the power here though. That's what I don't. I think it would be better to go this way because then you could have. Uh, you would just need pushes, right? You could have. Um, could have pushed him, pushed her, and then he could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that would have been better because you wouldn't have needed the pal. Um, but got the pal, so it's all right. All right. So now, how many elves are there? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he's got a cheeky two-man advantage. Oh no, this is not. This is the first half. So maybe eleven for the second half. I don't really like this setup. I don't know if he knew it was a. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if he knew he was on turn eight or not. But I think backline's probably better. He hasn't got any plus movement, has he? He's probably not going to go for a score. This is probably just. I mean, I guess it's it's all right against a uh, riot, maybe. Oh, don't be crazy, Adon Adon. <laughs> oh. No, I'm I'm still. I'm still in a, not a, not a good place with blood ball. I think I think I need to. Just I don't know. I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to commit a date to coming back to it. I just want to come back to it when I feel feel like it. To be honest, which I guess could be tomorrow, couldn't it? If I feel all right, I'll 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 have a late run. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it probably won't be, but it could be. But what I mean is, there's no, there's no. If I feel good, let's say in a week's time, there's no point to then wait two weeks for the next season, is that? Seems the seasons don't really mean anything. How many wrestlers left to do? Uh, quite a few, but not not all of them are. Uh, not all of them are. Uh, are like subs, so I think. The important thing is to just get the subs that the subs and VIPs that are left, which aren't that many. Hello, Yarlikon. And get the shows done. Get the shows done as well because uh, I won't be able to upload pictures soon. So the things that need pictures, like oh God, killed him. And to be fair, that was an extra block, right? Because uh, he's already blitzed. So, so that there was an extra block because of this, these people not being on the back line. Gotten an extra block and killed that guy. So, something to think about. Maybe just forgot it was turn eight. No, it's a custom name, definitely. <laughs> right, so he's still got 11 because he had a bench, and the Dells have 10. Is this his actual defense? No. What the hell? <laughs> this is apparently his defense. Um... Yeah, me too, I don't... Well, Beast and Nurgle. Right, I really don't like this, because uh, you can block him and blitz him and just blast a massive hole, and yet he didn't. He just set up everyone here. <laughs> I'm utterly confused by both sides' actions. Was this a perfect defence? <sighs> no, it was a riot. Why didn't he just block him and blitz him and just... <sighs> I don't know.
<laughs> I mean, sure, he's got Stun Firm, but also he's got Rackle and Frenzy. So, I don't know if the guy even has dodge. He doesn't even have dodge. He's got Wrestle and Frenzy. So he could have just punched him. And the Rackler could have blitzed him as well. Or him. Like, it doesn't even matter because he could have blitzed one of these two and then just flipped through. I mean, okay, maybe he didn't want to flood through, but I think you kind of might as well. <laughs> Giving up a stab there. Nice. <laughs> First things first, stab this dude. I'd have even done that before moving. Just because the stab can't fail and you might cast them. And then if you cast them or whatever, like remove them, then maybe things could change for the turn. I'm just going to 2D. Maybe that was a misclick. I've certainly done that before with uh, stab players. Hitting the sidestepper. And gets the air, uh, just hit, takes the frenzy trap into the sidestepper. Not something I would have done. Wow. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Disgusting removals. <laughs> yeah, I think I, my blitz would have come over. My blitz would have come over here with him. Um, or if you're not going to. Stab with Zara, then you could have blocked with him and blitzed with Zara. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good when you just remove a bunch of guys, isn't it? <laughs> Oof, gotta re-roll this, I think. Could have gone one back as well. Um, it would have given him two plus out, but you'd have been closer to catch him if he, uh, if he had to... I mean, I guess you've got the bolt as well, right? This is going to be... Yeah, this is... This is uh, tricky for the Dells, isn't it? Against the Wizard now. Unless he just does a GFR. G5, which makes the pass to him more difficult. <laughs> the, pass is, the pass is inaccurate because he made that G5. Um, I don't know, pass. The bad thing is that he's got both both runners next to each other. Obviously isn't great for, um, for ball recovery. It would have been nice to... Uh, nice to have had like his three movement six had three players in different places, so he, you know, he couldn't do a switch. Because, you know, he, he, at the end of the day, he could have bolted this guy, but then he wouldn't have had a recovery, really. Um, yeah, I think I was just taking the stab there rather than trying to power bludger, especially a sidestepping one. This isn't great because he's still just going to pick him up the four plus one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh god! Fuck off, cyanide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Probably should bolt him at the end of the turn, just so he can't score. Which isn't good, is it? Whereas if he'd had, if he'd had the movement six out of three split up, he could have recovered that. Good day, cocky. Blitz is here. I guess might as well. Because his play is just to try and score, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's fair enough. 
I mean, if you fail the pickup, you probably lose. But I mean, he could have he could have jumped up, blocked, and then uh, blitzed somewhere else, couldn't he? Uh, but I guess he didn't have a lot of players. At first, I thought he could have just jumped up, blocked, but then he just didn't have a lot of players, so he might as well just do the blitz. Right, three, six, eight players. Not a lot, but it is dwarves, but then he has got a wizard to force through, so this should be a pretty easy score, really. Definitely want the Troll Slayer on the unprotected Garda. That is ideal. And definitely want to stab the Sidestepper first. Should have stabbed first. <laughs> Shouldn't have blocked straight ahead either. Should have had him there, so he could have blocked behind me. Should have stabbed first. <laughs> Should have stabbed first. <laughs> not uh, not blocking with a troll slayer. So and not and blocking straight forward. And also, like, wasting the tackle, because the tackle could have blitzed him. Oh, he's still going to blitz him with him anyway. But, I mean, that could have been that could have been the pommel that blitzed him. And he could have stabbed him first as well. Oh, well. Get a removal anyway. Very nice. Done a score with him, because he's a shitlord. So definitely want to pick up with him. Probably want to move him in front first, just in case of a failure. It's, it's still quite unprotected, you know, he's still got people who could have run forward and put in some pressure here. Definitely wanted to get this guy in front first. My main recommendation for Kiwi would be stop paying attention to... <laughs> get a refund from Space Cadets Ball Academy Protection. <laughs> <laughs> Ball Protection Academy, fuck's sake, I couldn't really speak. I knew I'd done it wrong. Get a refund from Space Cadets Ball Protection Academy, I would say. Get definitely against elves. You know, even in the rain, around... Well, it's kind of especially in the rain because it makes you more likely to fail pickups. Um, but... There's an argument for making a bit of a troll slayer there, even though he's got dodge. Just because uh, obviously more more hits on him and he doesn't have block, so hitting him more is with the. Uh, I think it's better with the troll slayer to hit him more. Two hits with block is better than one hit with block and tackle, I, I believe. Um, and also you'd have pushed him into Zara for a stab and stuff, and you really want him to get piling on to make his jump up better. So I'd be trying to hit with a troll slayer a bit more. Oh, look at that. Look at me knowing things without knowing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, versus a bludger tackle's better, isn't it? But, um... Because it's 33% versus 30%. Kind of. But even then it's going to be better, isn't it? With, with two hits from the Frenzy. No, it isn't, because the Frenzy's 30. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you've got two 33s instead of two 30s, yeah. So it's better... It's Versus Blood, the tackle is better, but versus just Dodge... Frenzy's better. Wow, another Kaz. <laughs> so he's getting a bunch of Kaz on this guy. Whereas, you know, that could have been two Kaz and the Troll Slayer um, on another day. And then he would have been really close to leveling him. Um... 
you know, like, because th this guy's finished really with Garda, mate. He doesn't really need anything more. Like, none of the, none of the, uh, Linos really need skills, whereas the Troll Slayer really does. So I would have been trying to get hits in with the Troll Slayer wherever possible. Especially he's got loads of sidesteppers. So I'd really be trying to hit the, uh... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> um... oh, I studs to the face. I got killed anyway, so there you go. That's the rando basing punished with the death, so that's that's one problem he doesn't have to think about. <laughs> um, and again, yeah, I would have probably had him in the in the fucking uh, cage to not get hit with his armor aid, and would have been marking up with Zara for free stabs and being a strength four blodger and also not a part of the team. So if he'd swapped those, if he'd swapped Zara and the troll slayer, that's like so much better, isn't it? Because you're sticking a strength four on somebody with a stab back if if they don't deal with you, um, and it's not even your player. So not only is it like you know, not only is she better, she's also way more expendable. Another cast. <laughs> Yikes. Go for a foul at the end of the turn? Oh yeah. Like even here, he would be better. He would be better in the cage, wouldn't he, for a guard? I guess he don't need it, he's already got two cards. But still it seems a waste to have to have like Zara there when you know. There isn't no, no, this was a 2 2 draw. There was no overtime. I don't know what. If it was a league or what. I think it was a league match. Yeah, because now he's getting punched by the Witch Elf. <laughs> and cast, which could have been Zara. <laughs> right? So, so those little things, although <laughs> it's funny. No, oh yeah, yeah, he could have done, yeah. Um. He fireballed there, though, and got two. So, you know, little things like that, although obviously they both happened in what, in one game, <laughs> with the Trollslay getting killed and that guy getting cast. It's, it is those little things that probably aren't going to matter in one game, but will add up over time, won't they? Um, if you consistently... If you consistently, every time you've got a star player, using the star player in the expendable positions, you are going to take less cars on your good players than if it's your good players taking those hits. <laughs> so it is something worth worth thinking about and doing right. And he's got dwarf, <laughs> dwarf cheerleaders. So there you go. He certainly roll good armor and injury dice. So yeah, he doesn't need any tips for that. He doesn't need any tips for that. But um, yeah, I would say definitely first half, he should have focused way more on the ball when it was the short kick. And uh, second half when mopping up, should have should have prioritized Troll Slayer hits where possible to level him and play a protection, especially with Zara. Right, so there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.